our theme this year is Harry Potter, Harry Potter on the Slippery Slope. So um, we sorted everyone into their own houses. It's similar to last year's steering. Um, last year we had, we attempted to do a four ski steering last year. So have all, all four skis steering to create a, a sharper turn. Um, we had problems with it, so we scrapped the back skis and we kept just pretty well the same design as the front skis, except we changed them um, just to have a little bit more of a turning radius because we only had about 20 degrees of turning last year. So this year we should have somewhere near 45, which is more than enough. The main thing is about this trunk is about this toboggan is that it has concrete sleds. We have to build the toboggan so that we can go down a slope, uh, go down a slope, and on snow since it's toboggans for winter. When this, everything's in tension, the ski is going to be holding onto this wire, which will be taking a lot of force. So how we're going to release it is a quick release that's rated for 2,000 pounds, which is more than enough. And so when you pull the string from the inside, the cable releases and allows the skis to rotate back. The main difference of the toboggan this year compared to last year is the way we are braking. The steering is mostly the same. The roll cage is mostly the same as well. It's definitely the brakes because last year we had what we called dino claws and essentially they were two claws held on pivots that I would release as levers and they would dig into the snow stopping us. Whereas this year we have the skis being removed from under us the entire toboggan is going to fall and then these brake spikes are going to actually dig into the ground. Um, I feel it's a good opportunity to take the things we learn in class and practice and it's really cool to see the entire design process go from like drawings on a blackboard to actually being made and then to racing down a hill. Last year our main goal was just to get to the bottom of the hill. Um, we're the first Concordia team to ever cross the finish line. So that was our main goal this year. This year, yeah, we're, we're gonna be the first Concordia team to win, hopefully.